The CAD Drafting Tool Design program is an associate degree program that has five options for students to go into after the associate's degree. We specialize in teaching students the CAD application, which is computer-aided design, the drafting applications, which is designing and putting a plan together, and then the tool design is really where our students really shine, and it's developing tooling to mass-produce products. Things that are injection molded, parts that are made of stamping dies, and parts that are used with jigs and fixtures. CAD is basically about making everyday like products into 3D images and what we're doing right now you test and analyze things for plastic parts and see how the plastic's gonna like work through a mold and everything and um, it's basically just taking what everyday people use and we can analyze it and see how it's made and how it works. It's a two-year program and it's uh, it has a lot to do with uh, designing a lot of components like plastic parts and metal, sheet metal, stamped out parts. Well, the first year of the program, we learn mace, or basically the solid edge program, which is a CAD program, and how to 3D model. You learn just the basic stuff in your first year, and you start getting into dyes and stuff in your dye designs, and you learn like about plastics and how to do sheet metal stuff, and your welding, and so it's like a mixture of everything in your first year. And then the second year, so far we started learning about mold flow, how plastic runs through molds to make parts and also a dye design course so learn how to make progressive dyes. And then in your second year you get more in depth into your dyes and actually design your own dyes. The types of students that come into the CAD Drafting Tool Design program are kids who are very hands-on. They like working with mechanical type items. Um, it's the kind of kid that's going to take his go-kart apart and see how it works. I took some high school CAD and I really liked it and it seemed like a good choice for me. I like to work with my hands and I'm so it was really cool to see when I did a tour how they like actually get to look at real life products. I like to be tedious with my work and I love to draw and do that kind of stuff so in my high school I did a program where it was all hand drawing stuff and it was deal with this kind of stuff and I loved it. My favorite uh, part of the program is probably the redesign projects we did last year with all the different parts. This is the redesign project that we had to do as freshmen last year. Um, my group and I worked on this one. It's an electric chainsaw sharpener. Um, what was unique about this part is it's got a lot of different styles of parts to it. Like, as you can see, these are plastic, and so the way that they would be manufactured is completely different than the way the metal parts would be made. It was really hard, but it was really cool to see something that complex come together. The end result of it was pretty awesome. I like our dye design class right now. It's really interesting. Dye design is basically stamping sheet metal. So we build it's basically two things that come together to form parts out of sheet metal. And there's a lot of different things you can do with it. The students get exposed to a lot of high tech stuff here at Ferris. We've got a lot of unique equipment that students get hands on. They really get a lot of experience with and to see what are some of the neat things that the industry does and how they can apply that to their job when they get out in the workforce. This summer I was an intern for um, Booker Hydraulics. I was a fixture designer for them for about four months. It was really cool um, to be able to work with an actual company and know that what I was working on was somebody was actually using that versus I was just getting a grade for it. I've talked to people before that are actually engineers now and when they see the actual design out on the street and stuff they can point it out and say hey that's mine you know I, I did that that was for my brain. And the industry has changed a lot in that it used to be draftsmen and now it's more designers. The requirements of our, of our students when they go out in the real world is ratcheted up so much because of the technology and a lot of the software that's available that they're just more expected. What this program is, it's made by Autodesk. It's, um, it's called Mold, mold Flow Advisor. Um, what it's for is to set up a plastic mold and it shows you how it works uh, somewhat. It shows you how it fills and all the pressures and stuff that goes on in it. What we'd normally do with this is we'd bring in the 3D model and we'd make sure that everything is what we need. All these plastic parts, all these are uh, injected with ABS material. It's, uh, it's basically like a hot glue gun. It goes layer by layer, layer by layer, and it allows for the parts to get built. Our job placement for the CAD Drafting Tool Design Program has been 100% over the last, ever since I've ever been here, and it's probably been the last 50 years. We fill a real unique market in Michigan, and Michigan is really known for our design and manufacturing. 
and our students fill that need. After I graduate from this program, I want to go into mechanical engineering, but I really want to keep working for the company that I'm currently employed in um, and just you know, grow with that company. After graduation, I'd like to get a job in, uh, in this field and uh, prefer I prefer metal, metal areas. After graduation, well, I could walk after this year, but I plan on switching in, like going into mechanical. And then after I plan on doing mechanical engineering and finishing that degree, I'm probably gonna go into the work field. I want students to walk out of here with confidence that they know that they're gonna be valuable to the industry, and that they're gonna be able to make a difference and be able to, to actually go out and utilize their talents to help a company develop products and mass produce products so that they're successful.